Hey there, this is Lori from Rideshare Silver, and I'm doing a really quick video to show you how to order your very first Uber ride. So let's get right to it. Now I am going under the assumption that you already have the Uber app on your phone. If not, in the description below there is a fast link that you can click on with your smartphone. It will take you right up to Uber and it has a free ride credit for your first ride already embedded in there. So uh, it will get you set up for your first ride up to $15 for free. Um, or I will add a video at the very end of this to show you exactly how to do that. But let's just go ahead and assume you have the Uber app on your phone. So we're going to go right into Uber. Now, the first thing that Uber does is you can see that address up there, and that is normally going to be where the GPS says you are um, at your current time. So it defaults to your location where your phone is right now. So um, I've actually put in a different address because I'm trying to protect my home num address because that's where I am right now. So I've done Voodoo Donuts in Portland. Now you can actually tap onto that upper address line and you can manually enter your pickup address or you can actually move this pin around and you can set it uh, wherever you are and uh, like the white owl it's picked up the address so let's just go from the white owl and uh, so now you need to set a destination you can click on here where to and you have a couple options once again you can manually um, put in an address uh, here type it in or you can if you see this set location on map down here I'm going to tap that and I'm going to use my and we're going to go over to Pock Pock very popular restaurant so um, I'm going to scooch in a little bit more so it gets a little bit more detailed address so there we go that picks that up a little bit better okay so now I have a pickup address and now I have a destination done Okay, this is going to tell you a lot of things right now. Um, you see up there um, next to your de your um, pickup location is a two, two minutes. That means that if you were to order your Uber right now, your driver will be there to pick you up in two minutes. Um, also, if you look down here, um, you can see Uber Pool. Now, Uber Pool is an option that you can take if you don't mind carpooling with people on going to the same uh, area that you're going to along your way. So, uh, the good thing about that is it's cheaper by looks like about a buck fifty to choose that option. The bad thing is, well, it's not even bad. Some people won't consider it bad, but you do have to have a little bit more patience because your driver can be routed to someplace else to pick up another passenger going your way. So you have to have some patience. Um, so it just depends on how much money you're willing to uh, save in order to have a little bit more patience and uh, share the ride. Um, the most popular and the default option is UberX, and UberX is a four-seater, uh, basically four passengers um, and, and the driver, so five people can fit in the car. You can bring up to four people with you on your ride, or you can choose the XL, and the XL will allow you to have up to six riders, one to six riders. That's a little bit more expensive, but it's a larger van, and more, more people can fit in there. Then you can do the Select. The Select is a much higher end car. Um, you know, really, really fancy if you want to go in style, you can do that. They also have Assist, where the driver will help you if you have special um, requirements or if the Wave is if you have a wheelchair and need some help. So, uh, but the default is going to be the UberX, and that's the most popular one. So, if you are ready to go and everything looks good, and you've figured out that you got your UberX, and you can see that this ride is costing me zero because I've entered my promo code, which I'm going to give you if you do the fast link down at the bottom, or if you have not, uh, it, but if you've already downloaded the app, then um, then you still might be able to use it. So, uh, but so look at the fast link below for that for that um, promo code. So anyways, if you're ready to go, you would request UberX. You just hit the request UberX. Um, and what's going to happen now is, as you can see, the driver's four minutes away. It's going to send uh, the driver your information, and it's, it's going to um, send you uh, the driver's information. Um, you're going to find out the name of the driver, the car they're driving, their license number, and the driver's rating. Um, so you'll know exactly who's coming your way and the great thing is is this will also show you um, in real time as the driver makes his way or her way towards you to pick you up so you can see them as they come. Uh, once the driver gets near you you're going to get pinged uh, by the app saying hey your driver's almost here come on down um, and you have from two minutes from the time the driver arrives 
um, to get down to the car before they start charging you for wait time. So be ready, get out there, so uh, get as uh, best bang out of your buck for your ride um, as you can. So that's as simple as it is. Um, and uh, you can get in the front or the back of the car, whichever you're more comfortable. And as long as you've set up your app, of course you have. You wouldn't be able to order a ride unless you have. Um, there's no money exchange unless you want to give the driver a, um, a, t a, a cash tip. But you just get to your destination, hop out, and uh, then you're given the option to rate the driver. Please give a driver a 5 unless there's um, a problem because if a driver has a 4 uh, 0. 0.6 or lower, they will be deactivated as a driver. So you may, might think a four star is good, but it really isn't. Uh, it can get a good driver deactivated. So hope this was helpful. Please share with your friends. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if this was helpful and like my video. And I hope to see you on the road.